Hey everybody, it's Dr. Kara of drkaragubbins.com and animalwisdomcircle.com and I'm here today with your installment, latest installment on how to talk to animals and today I want to talk to you about signs of success. Um, this is, I think, a really big issue in learning anything new is noticing what you're doing right. So as a species in general, human beings, we tend to overlook the things that are going well. We tend to focus our attention on the one place that it's not working or the big thing that happened and not notice all the like dozens and dozens of little things that were going well when that one thing didn't work. So um, I have a story I wanna share with you that kind of illustrates that and then a couple of tips of if you're working on your ability to talk to animals, start looking for some of these things to help you recognize your progress and recognize what you're doing right. And the more you focus on what you're doing right, the more you're going to be doing that, the more it's going to happen for you and the more success you're going to have. So I want to tell you about this student in my Talk with the Animals class. Um, our class ended this week. It's a six week class, just introductory foundational, but it starts you off right away in week two, learning the skills and the tools and practicing talking to animals. And when this student came into the class, she said, I don't want to be a professional. I'm not here to be, you know, change jobs or become an animal communicator. I just want to have a way to connect in with my dog and show up for her in a bigger way, you know, give her what she wants and needs that I might be missing now. And I thought that's a great, great reason to take this class. Perfect. Fantastic. So she's been showing up every week. She's been doing the homework. She's been having success. And we were doing our final share of the class earlier this week. And um, in the same breath, this is so funny. I love this. So she said, hey, like, you know, I'm doing this stuff. I think it might be kind of working, but I'm just not getting very good intuitive information from my dog. And then she went on to share that the other night she had been sitting in the living room later in the evening with her husband and her dog came over and rested her chin on her husband's leg and that's kind of unusual and so they kind of noticed that and then the dog came over and did the same thing to her and just rested her chin on her leg and without any formal shifting into the mindset or setting up for a reading or you know any of the tools that we've been working on she just said hey is something wrong and the dog said no and she said well are you hungry and the dog said no and she said well are you tired and the dog said yes and she said do you want to go to bed and the dog said yes <laughs> and so they they kind of ended their evening and you know went and put the dog to bed so sweet so sweet and i said whoa 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 hold on just a minute you're kidding me right like you did this thing spontaneously exactly what you said you wanted to get out of this class and you're prefacing this with i'm i think i'm not doing very well with this intuitive stuff like no 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 you're doing great you're doing awesome and sure maybe it's not showing up every single time that you want it to but this is what you wanted and this is what you're getting you're doing it so what I noticed with her was what she was paying attention to were the times that it wasn't working for her and she completely forgot, even though she shared the story with us, the times that it was working and the signs of success. And I've seen this um, in so many areas with so many people. My college students used to do the same thing. They would come up to me after a test and they would say, oh my God, I totally failed that test. Can you grade it now? Because I'm just so anxious. I'm so stressed out because I, I know I failed it. And if I failed it, I should go and drop the class so I don't get a W, you know, like all that kind of stuff. And so I'd sit there and I would grade it for them and they would have gotten, you know, a B or a C or sometimes even an A but they might have missed one or two questions and that's what their mind focused on. That was one or two questions that they missed and then it kind of grew into this thing of like, I just did terrible on the whole test 
right? Because they're focusing on the one thing that wasn't working while they're missing the 98 things that were working, that they did do right, the signs of success. So I started to teach my students as part of their test taking skills, signs of success. And, you know, for them, it was maybe a little different than for you talking to animals, but it's the same idea have some criteria, some objective criteria that will show you that you're on the right track. So for me, I wrote a few down. Number one, are you showing up? Are you trying it? Are you using your tools consciously, right? Just showing up is a sign of success. Number two, are you trying? Are you giving it a go? Are you willing to go, okay, I'm going to focus on my intuitive ability to connect, to hear, to see. Are you just working it? Are you trying it? Are you putting in the effort? Number three, are you getting any intuitive information? If you are, that's a sign of success. If anything is coming to you, whether it's um, a memory that gets triggered or a feeling or a thought or a word or an image, if you're getting something, that's a sign of success. Um, number four, do you know how you're getting that information? Okay, so this is moving into like, you know, kind of meta mastery and understanding how it all works. But do you recognize that you're getting pictures? Do you recognize that you're feeling something in your body? Do you recognize that you're hearing words? Do you know what intuitive sense is how you're getting that information? So that's a high level of awareness. Sometimes we just... Um, kind of gloss over that and don't realize how we're getting the information. But if you go, oh, I saw a picture, that's a sign of success. Um, and then number five is, and I don't want to put any pressure on you, but from the story I just shared with you, it's a perfect example. So is the information that you're getting accurate or appropriate or correct? And I'm not saying, especially in the beginning, I don't want you to have any pressure that it has to be right every time or that it's only worthwhile if you can verify it. But like, look at my student, her dog did something unusual. She paid attention. So she said, hey, what's going on? The dog said, I'm tired. Do you want to go to bed? Yes. Okay. And then the dog was happy. So that would be some, you know, object, objective verification that the intuitive information she got was accurate and correct and appropriate. So if you can get any of those five things, if you can notice those and start to notice them more often, then you're going to start to see that maybe you are making progress. Maybe you're better at this than you thought. Maybe it is possible. You can do it. And um, you can start with these five or come up with some of your own ways that you'll know when you're doing a good job. I also, I create a whole reading report for my students. So if you ever want to take the Talk with the Animals class or the Four Readings in Four Weeks class that we offer after that, we go through all of this in the class and set you up so you're succeeding. And when we're doing well at something, it's so much easier to go, oh, I want to do that again, right? Rather than, oh, I suck at this. Oh, I got to go make myself practice. Oh, that's so terrible. So find how you're doing well already. Pay attention to that. Notice that. Celebrate it. It's great. It's fantastic. And, um, and hopefully that will help you get even farther on the journey of talking to animals and making it easier for you. If you want any help with that, come on over to drkaragubbins.com and look under my classes, talk with the animals. I'd be happy to have you in a class and help you move along with that. But for now, that is your tip for, the, for today. And I hope it helps you to understand you're probably doing really well already. And just pay attention to that. Just start noticing that and acknowledge yourself for that. Pat yourself on the back. All right, good luck. Go talk to animals, change the world, and um, make the world a better place following your dream and what you love. Have a great week.